Hello my friends, this video is something that I've been asked to do for about since the beginning Fortnite came out or since they released skins. Everyone's been saying, Avery, what does your locker look like? You've been playing since day one, let us know. And during streams, I don't really showcase my locker that much. I just kind of scroll, pick my skin and continue. But this video, I'm going to be showing you my $6,000 plus locker. I, uh, yes, $6,000. I spent that much money on this game and Epic still hates me. So good news is I'm supporting a dead game. Bad news is I'm supporting a dead game. But the best part is this game's not dead. Anyway, we're going to be going over some things and I'm going to give you some buying tips and tricks as well. So basically how, how to buy skins. Now it may seem stupid on like how to buy skins, but a lot of the time people buy unnecessary things like this gingerbread man. It was OG, which is why everyone wanted it. But now that it came back, it's actually terrible. I, I, ne I don't see anyone rocking it anymore. It just seems like a very oversaturated skin. And then this skin right here, cool skin. I like it. But then you get to the back bling. The back bling is probably one of the cooler parts of it, and that you would only purchase it for the back bling, right? And then you have all these useless emotes, which again, I've been playing since day one. I haven't even purchased this emote. It's pointless. You don't waste your money on this stuff. It's same with the, the, the gliders. I'll be getting into all this as we break down, basically from skins, pickaxes, gliders, and all that stuff. It, it, there's just some things you don't need to buy, all right? Just the thing, that's what I've learned. I stopped buying everything. I buy mostly every single actual skin that comes to the game. But other than that, I kind of just don't purchase anything else. But we're going to be going over it. Right now, the, the skin that I've been rocking at the moment is Renegade Raider. And I finally found a good back bling for it. I've been using this one. I believe it's called the Scoped Satchel. What's the difference? Okay, the scope satchel is the orange one, and it's the only one that actually seems like a good one for Renegade Raider. Originally, I didn't really like using Renegade Raider. There was no cool backlinks to go along with it. I mean, Dakota's has a really cool combo, but this one is actually pretty clean. It's the orange color, so I think it just works out well, and this is what I'm rocking right now. But we're going to be going over the skins first. Now, skins is everything people want to know. And a lot of people are going to be asking, why is your locker $6,000? And I'm going to be like, well, I spent $6,000 plus on this game through microtransactions. And that's through exclusive skins like the Galaxy skin and then just Battle Pass upgrades and all that crazy jazz. Now, again, I've been playing since day one of Fortnite, even like before everything and as you can see my account level is 680 that's a lot of freaking account level because i oh my gosh that was terrifying because that just means i play a lot but we're gonna go over the skins we're gonna go from my favorites and then down into the other ones and i'll explain why these ones aren't my favorites but i'll explain why these are my favorites so obviously we have the battle hound the battle hound came with one of the most cool back blings that I used to rock on the Ranger before he was released and Battle Hound's just really unique it was kind of like one of the first ones where you had a different type of head and I just really love the uh, green tattoo I don't know why when I'm just playing games this guy looks pretty dope when you're swapping weapons that's the only reason why I have him as a favorite but then we have the Black Knight the Black Knight is something that I think is one of the coolest, most menacing looking skins. I mean, look at him. But you put shadows on, he does look pretty cool. And again, I don't know if that's supposed to be blood or paint splattered on his chest because there is no blood in this game. I'm assuming it's just paint. But coming from the season one or season two battle pass full rank, like this was something that not many people have, but some of the people that rock it in the games aren't the best of skill because they've just been playing for a long time and that's about it. But it's a cool one. Calamity, I just noticed that she was a really cool skin. I really liked her when, like, the whole upgrade process, all the styles as well. I think I rocked this, uh, I rocked this style the most. This style is my favorite. Even when I unlocked the coat, I kind of just stuck around on stage three for her. And I really just liked everything. And then I started getting into the coat. The coat looked really sick, especially with the black on black. And now I don't use her at all. I honestly, uh-oh. I honestly don't like her as a skin. So we're going to unfavorite her. <laughs> but also we got crack shot crack shot used to be og and now he's not and i i don't see anyone using the skin because why would you it just gives you a bigger head so unfavoriting that one but then we come to the eon eon is one of my favorite skins during some of the cute like the kevin cube event i used him and he got some really cool cinematic pictures with it but one of my favorites along with fate 
I don't know if she's been in the item shot recently, but just that side skirt thing, whatever the heck that is, I really like it when playing. She's a small character. She's she's not bright colors, which is good because you can kind of creep around places. And I just like her because she's super, super cool. And just, I guess, a shady type of character. Now we got this guy from the Frozen pack. The Love Ranger. I've bought him, never used him once, but I do enjoy the color. It's a glistening type of thing. So we're going to unfavorite that man. I, it, listen, we're just going through unfavoriting things. I'm going to tell you what skins I like. I'm going to be brutally honest. And we got this beautiful gent. Gent or gem. But the Frozen one, blue is my favorite color of the alphabet. So definitely one of my favorites. And then we go to our girl Elsa Glimmer. She is pretty cool too. I don't really think I like her that much other than the arm ones. I mean, she has great leggings. I, I, this, I think that's from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know who makes them, but uh, she's definitely wearing one of the best dresses out there. Um, other than that, really not that special. I, I didn't really enjoy the skin. I thought it would be a little bit better, and I don't know how she builds and heals. It's just a little ridiculous at this point, but we're going to go over to the Twitch Prime skin, Havoc. This is the first ever Twitch Prime skin to actually be released in Fortnite, and I don't see this skin at all. I really don't, and it's one of my favorite skins too because it's so it's it's clean. It's got the the blo broccoli rob on his head. It's amazing, honestly. Then you got the but then we get to Lynx. I don't know if I just like Lynx because of the new, you know, it just just came out, right? Sick, awesome. But I like the tail, <clears throat> love the outfit, and I love the changing of colors. Now look at that. That all black and look it pulsates through her skin which is awesome you got a little koi fish I believe on her sides and stuff this is a really really cool skin I can't wait to unlock the black version I have the red one right now but the fact that the, it just pulsates I just I love it I love it one of the best skins then we get the boy I Ice King I really really like the way he looks but I do not like I just I just can't stand I can't stand how big he is it's impossible to get into battles with him. I literally cannot fight with him. It's when I'm ADSing his little horns and head. He's so broad. It's ridiculous. I do not like fighting with him. Not one of my favorites. But now we're going to move on to Mr. John Wick. John Wick is... Look at look at that handsome devil. Look at him. Look at that smug face. You just want to punch him right in the, right in the freaking clavicle. We're going to move on to Zenith. Uh, fully maxed out Zenith, of course. Uh, just need to get some more colors. I didn't unlock the yellow one yet, which I'm just kind of lazy to do weekly challenges. But other than that, he looks pretty sick. Cool character. Um, I mean, I, the one thing I didn't like is they kind of got lazy. You get from state, you need 350,000 XP to rank this guy up, right? So you're stage three. You're like, dang, all right, 100,000 XP later, boom. Man literally went to the salon to get his nails done. For 300, for 100,000 XP, went to the salon and painted his freaking nail. Ridiculous, okay? I'm, I'm angry. I'm sorry. We're moving on to the USA Ski Alpine Ace guy. I'm happy that they brought these back. I didn't own all of them at the time. I only owned a few. So now I actually went down and bought every single one. But then we move on to Blitz. We bought every single Blitz character. I love this combo with the white wings. And now you can put the blue wings on along with the blue. We got Cloak Star coming up next. Cloak Star, something about this skin is really cool. I think it's because it's a different body character. It's basically, he's just a different character in general. And I really, really, really like the way he looks in game. He kind of has that shoulder piece as well right here, which is pretty dope. And he's a yellow boat in karate. What else can you ask for? And now we come to the double helix. This is from purchasing the Nintendo Switch. Do I play the Switch at all? No. Did I buy it for the skin? Hell yeah. I bought it for the skin. And guess what? I don't even use this guy. I don't even use his pickaxe or his glider. But do I have the skin to, to boast and show off in front of all my friends who will accept me because I have a, a Fortnite Battle Royale skin? Yes, it's right here. Look at it. Add me on Epic. What are you guys doing? Right now. He's sick. I don't even know what he is. What is like? What is that face? I'm getting angry looking. I'm just. Anyway, the elite agent. Look at this beautiful gem. 
Biggest, biggest try-hard skin. I don't know what happened, but about a season ago, everyone that had this skin was insanely good. Now, season 7, everyone that has this skin is a wannabe try-hard, and they suck. They are literally the worst players I've ever come across in my life. They don't know how to build. They're acting like they know how to use a deagle, and then they just fall to their death, and I'm like, hello? Is it me that you're looking for? It was ridiculous. I, I don't know, man. I just work here. Elite Agent's cool. I like Elite Agent. And then we got Disco Bob, Funk Ops. Glad this guy hasn't come back. I really like using this character sometimes. Even though his afro gets kind of annoying when you make some peaks, like some little head peaks. But he's pretty good. He's a pretty cool character. Something unique. He got, obviously, the sparkling. Sparkle Specialist, I'm not a fan of. I, I feel like everyone that owns Sparkle Specialist actually bought their account because every single person just sucks. But anyway, we got the Galaxy skin. I'm glad that they're adding more and more Galaxy skin stuff, even after you purchase it. I believe we got uh, someone rumored a Galaxy skin wrapped for weapons. Now, if that comes out, I will be the happiest girl in the world, because that would look sick on guns. And my sniper will look like it's out of this world. See what I did there? Anyway, I bought a $1,000 phone for this. Priorities. Then we move on to Ghoul Trooper, the only the only Halloween skin that did not come back during this year, 2018 of Halloween, the second Halloween of Fortnite, didn't come back, which I'm super happy about. Ghoul Trooper is really cool, really OG. Glad Skull Trooper came back, and they gave a little OG effect to it as well. The people that also owned these two right here, Mary Marauder and Ginger Gutter, a day before they dropped these skins, you were allowed, the people that originally owned it, were allowed to do any of these customizations. Really cool for streamers because we got a day preview or exclusive type of skin, which is cool for us on that day. And then, next day it came out and we all got really sad. But, if there's a skin out there that you really want to punch in the face, it's going to be this guy. This guy, for some reason, whenever you come across him in a lobby, which is rare, you will honestly want to punt a small child out of a second story window into a pile of foam. It's ridiculous. They play in the most bizarre way. It's like they're playing their own game of Fortnite. They invent and they're just a cult. They're the weirdest group of people I've ever seen in my life and good for them because I use it sometimes just to annoy people. Then we go to the other, we got Mogul Master Canada, France, and German. So, Germany. Germany. And, they're cool. I mean, they're just clean skins. I like the color combination. This is the one I really wanted. I didn't own this around the first time of purchasing them. But the second time they came out, I got it, which I'm happy about. And the onesie. Who doesn't like a freaking onesie? Look at her. She's just happy to be in a onesie. You could tell. Look how happy she is. I'm happy this skin came out. I really liked it. It was leaked for a while, and hey, just it's out now. This skin's okay. Uh, I actually am gonna unfavorite it. I'm not really a big fan of Powder. Uh, she's cool, but not the cream of the crop, if you ask me. Then we get Rapscallion. This is Thieves. I don't know if you guys can see. We got Thieves right there. Look at that. Look at the faces. I mean, Thieves right there looks pissed off. Thieves on the screen looks amazingly happy, but also the Thieves right there has a phase logo. This Thieves doesn't, so that's the real Thieves, Kevin Thieferson, if you don't know the meme. Right there. All right. And then you got me. This, Kevin Thieferson, oddly enough, says this guy looks exactly like me. Now, if I had shades, which I don't, but I do have a slide whistle. This man is me, minus the beauty mark on my chin. But I really like the skin. I did purchase an Xbox in the UK. Yes, the United Kingdom, where all of the lions live to get this skin. And then it came out for controllers, so I wasted money. But it was a cool skin. I really liked it. I hit one of my best sniper clips on uh, Fortnite with this skin as well. Then we get Rust Lord. Rust Lord, my favorite skin ever. Biggest L Dance skin. If you're gonna L-Dance on anyone, you better be a Rust Lord because this is the, the when L-Dance was originally released, this was the skin that every Battle Pass kid had, and it was, oh my gosh, I couldn't explain, I can't fathom, I'm using just $5 words out here to sound smart, the, f like, every time I died, I got L-Danced on by one of these guys, or four of them, if I was doing solo squads, it was terrifying. 
did not like it. But anyway, now we got the OG Skull Trooper. Why is he OG? Well, guess what? I've been playing since day one, like I said. They give us this fancy schmancy color. You only, if you purchased it on the second time it was in the item shop, you basically get the default one, and then you get the this yellow one. But then, you get the OG one, which not many people have. Oh, there was the L dance. Um, toxic. Anyway, then we get this one. I just really like Technique. She was a very, very clean skin. Uh, one of the cleanest skins I think that was out there. I really like the splatter paint on the hands as well When I was swapping my weapons or pulling out my deagle it just looked really sick I'm one of those weird cosmetic people really like it, but moving on to Arctic Assassin She hasn't been around that much. She used to be she used to be in the item shop a lot not anymore This skin is somewhat clean you put white wings on it the love ranger wings boom looks amazing I love using this skin. Uh, I don't know why I don't use it that often, but Hey, whatever but then we move on to the blue team leader this one is a skin that I've rocked for a long time people know uh, me as me and Kevin or me and thieves as the beanie babies we're the New Jersey duo so we just rock we both have beanies on so we call these people the beanie babies I love her she's great I rock the blue sniper uh, back bling basically the opposite color or opposite basically the other color of the orange one and boom great skin love it and then we go to Brawler. Brawler used to be an OG skin. It's kind of moved out of OG, I guess, because it, she got was reintroduced, I think, recently, actually, about two days ago this, from this video being released. And she was cool. She was a very clean skin. Not many people had it. Then they started releasing her a little bit more and kind of lost value. There's really not many skins out there anymore that people have uh, or that people don't have. I mean, it's like every skin's been released. But now we get Bright Bomber, right? Bright Bomber right here. Used to rock her so many times. Old old montage, my old white tiger montage, my first one, not the second one. You had this skin. I was rocking this so much along with Munitions Expert. Love this skin to death. It was such a good one. And then they released a dark one, which is right down there, and I'm just little whatever. Then we get the soccer skins. Biggest tryhard skin. Uh, not anymore, to be honest, because they did a second wave of soccer skins. I had all of them, and now that everyone that, like, in Fortnite Pro League or Smiley Face or whatever type of try-hard players, they all rock this skin. And normally the people that rock this skin are never that good anymore. They're just okay. But then we get the Elf. Codename Elf, another OG skin that has been saved from Epic Games because Epic released all of the Christmas skins. Well, guess what? Not this guy. Not this pointy-headed... Yeah. Then we go to Dark Bomber. Dark Bomber is cool. Um, she was... I don't like... I think she got leaked, and I think it kind of ruined everything about her being released. So I wasn't a big fan. But also Dynamic Dribbler. She is one of my favorite skins, soccer skins, that nobody rocks. Nobody rocks her for some reason. I really like her. Uh, put the white wings on with the black jersey. Boom. She just looks great. So if you have this one, start using her. She's good. And then you get the finesse finisher. Ugh. Sorry. And then you get my favorite one. Look at that. You get fish stick. The best skin in the game. I spent money on this. All right. What was the point? Oh, man. But then you get insight. I like these because they're snipers. I kind of wish I didn't have the night vision, but it gives the look, I guess. But I really, really like these skins, obviously, because of camouflage. And so mainly for snipers, and my specialty in Fortnite is sniping. But then we go to Mayhem. Mayhem was an oddly... Like, I, she's in my favorites just because I really, really enjoyed, like, how she looks. She, she looks like a Borderlands character or a Mad Max character. So I like rocking her sometimes. <laughs> the boots are so weird. They're, like, open at the top. I just don't even know how to explain it. But then we get the Munitions Expert. This skin, again, one of the, my first skins. If you go all the way back to when they released skins, I wore this skin all the time. Now, believe it or not, she used to not have hair here. I know, odd feature for me to be pointing out. But this character right here didn't have hair at all until now. They added hair on her, the back of her head for whatever reason. And it kind of annoyed me because it made me feel old. I've been playing this game for so long that she grew hair. I'm baffled. Anyway, we got the Poise Playmaker, most overused soccer skin. Everyone loves her. Uh, amazing. Awesome. But we got Reflex. Boom. 
One second. Let's just do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. So yeah, as you can see, graphics card brand new. Haven't even used it yet. But I will also be giving away this reflex skin. So if you guys would like to win or get a chance to win, the only reason why I'll give it away is because you guys made it this far in the video. All you need to do is comment down below the secret word. The secret word is reflex. Who would have thunk it? So comment down below reflex and drop a like on this video and hey, guess what? You, you entered, you literally entered. So I basically just realized that I'm 20 minutes in, so we're just gonna speed run the crap out of the rest of these guys. I mean, there's really no more impressive ones after my favorited ones, and then we're really not gonna go over gliders and pickaxes just very briefly. But here we got the Renegade Raider, like I said, my newest fit, loving it. Uh, Blue Squire is one of my favorites as well, or Royal Knight. I'm sorry, I wore this during Friday Fortnite a lot. Sass Sergeant, cool, not the best, you know. The reason why it doesn't come back is because he's not purchased that much. But Assault Trooper is kind of like a wannabe. I guess type of one not really that OG anymore um, I would say waypoint might become a somewhat of a rare skin it's only been added once it's still fairly new but still we all know sergeant green clover is rare from the uh, was it st. Patrick's Day and my favorite skin right here right now one of the very few OG skins left the tracker the tracker has only been in the item shop twice and my god I love this guy so he's such a clean skin and I normally don't like guy skins, but I used to love Ranger, and then they added Ranger six times after like a year of not adding him, so it kind of mm, it got me irritated. But we're going further down, we got uh, Calamity, one of the best, uh, I would say, Battle Pass skins, Max Tears. I don't like any of the Ice guys other than the Knight. And the Enforcer is cool, Drift maxed out, whatever, it's all right. The LTM for the getaway is actually cool because there's quite a few skins on there that just you haven't seen yet or just haven't returned. His face is on my shirt. What the frick is that? Oh, 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 oh it's back. What the frick? I'm not even kidding. That's so weird. Okay. Anyway, then we got all these, the, the skiers, nothing crazy again, DJ Yonder, whatever, the new guy, he would be sick without the antlers, why'd they add them, I don't know, but Sparkle Specialist, everyone that buys an account has this because that's the only OG skin they can purchase, uh, it's very weird how that works, Sunstrider, I love this skin for some reason, it's just so, it's so weird, but like, it's just a female lifeguard, like whatever. But again, I un I unfavorited Yuletide Ranger. He's not an OG anymore. He's like in every bot skin. I don't even use him anyway. Whiplash is pretty cool. Haven't used Whiplash in a while. Tower Recon Specialist, man. Uh, it just makes me so sad because I miss Aerial Assault Trooper. I saw him twice and I'm like, I should purchase him. I never did. It was kind of like back when Fortnite literally just started. And then also we had the, uh, what's her name? The Recon Expert, Recon Specialist or something. She was really, really good as well. Really, really rare. Has not only been in the item shop once and I miss it. I'm so upset because I love that skin. But going on the pickaxes, nothing crazy here anymore. Candy Cane was returned. Eon is one of my favorites. Everyone asked in the stream, what is it? And it's just the Xbox pickaxe, guys. The Galaxy Skin pickaxe, again, another cool rare one. I haven't seen this in the item shop. Maybe I have. I don't know. I love it. But the, the Flamingo. Oh, sorry. Raider's Revenge. Raider's Revenge is obviously OG. Who cares? Whatever. Bibbidi boppity. I'm unfavoriting that. That new one. But uh, Flamingo's sick. Going to the gliders. Uh, I only have very few. I only rock the Founder's Umbrella, one of my favorite ones. But we have the Mako Glider, Season 1 as well. Uh, magic Wings, cool ones. Don't waste your money on gliders, guys. You only see them for a few seconds in the game. Then we, obviously we have the Galaxy one that came with the Galaxy skin and the Xbox one. These are very simple, very simple gliders that I use. Uh, there's no point of purchasing them. As you can see, I don't purchase them anymore. I used to, but now there's just no point because, hey, you see them for two seconds in the game, buddy. But other than that, that is literally my locker, guys. I have a ton, a ton of things. I, it's literally crazy how many objects I have in this locker. But if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Definitely better videos than this one coming out. I mean, this is just something I highly requested, so I, I did it for you guys. But anyway, I'm Avery, and I'm out.